Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to add incoming leads from Gmail to LeadSquared CRM using email parser. So I sell an integration software and I receive lot of queries from different users regarding my software and these users are basically the potential customer for my business which I want to collect to my CRM so that I can contact them via email via phone call in order to convert them as customer. But if I will have to do it, I'll have to open each query which is coming to my Gmail, copy the email address of the same and then manually go to the CRM and create that listing, basically the lead manually. Well, this is quite impossible for me because I receive hundreds of leads daily. So what if I tell you that I can entirely automate this process? Yes, every time I receive a new query, a new email, it will be filtered automatically among all these emails and the detail of the same will be added to my lead squared CRM automatically. Yes. So basically what is going to happen whenever a new email or a new lead arrived to my Gmail account, it will be filter out automatically and will be added to the CRM basically to my lead squared CRM automatically and I am going to do this process with the help of an automation and integration software Pabli Connect that will help me to integrate Gmail and lead squared. So just watch this video till end and you will be also able to create this automation in minutes. So first open your browser and type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com slash connect and press enter and you will reach to the landing page of that automation software. Now from this blue button create your free account which is absolutely free and you will also get 100 free tasks in this free account. Okay. Now I was already logged in that's why I have signed in directly. Click on access now and you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now let me maximize it so that you can actually see it clearly all right okay 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 let's make it 125 percent okay now click on this blue button create workflow from here we are going to start creating our automation give any random name to your workflow let's say i am giving the name as google gmail to crm basically which crm the lead squared crm okay I have given this particular name click on create once you will click on create you will find two boxes in front of you let me show you both of them trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this so our automation is going to work on these two principles only and let me tell you this trigger and action concept with an example that whenever a sale is happen in a payment gateway application send an email via gmail application another example when a form is submitted let's say google forms share a file via google drive application according to our use case whenever the email is received in gmail but here for fetching out the data of gmail i am not going to use gmail but i am going to use the email parser yes our first step is to collect the data of gmail collect the email addresses of gmail here in Pabli connect and i am going to do the same with the help of email parser let me read what is written over there so basically it has given me an email address I will have to copy this email address and go back to my Gmail account only from which I need to collect the data. The instruction for the same is already given. You can also watch the tutorial for the same. Well, go to your Gmail account, click on settings, click on see all settings and here you will find an option of email forwarder. So basically we are going to set, we are going to paste this email address here in the forwarding section and whenever the new email is arrived it will be automatically forwarded to the public connect email address okay so let i have already copied it okay go here click on add a forwarding address paste the same address here click on next it is asking me forwarding email to this yes proceed 
and a confirmation code has been sent to this particular email to verify the permission click on ok come back to Pabli connect and you can see Pabli connect has received a response and in this response you will directly have to go to the body text ok you can see body text is here maximize it and you will find the confirmation code here you can see this is the confirmation code simply copy it and again go back to the gmail and paste the confirmation code here in order to verify this okay so i have verified it enable this particular setting and click on save and this is how we are actually connected our gmail account with public connect you can read it you are forwarding your email to this particular email address and this notice will end in seven days in order to check whether this connection is working absolutely fine or not let me click on this button recapture email parser response click on yes and now you can see it is waiting for the email parser response let's go to gmail and assume that someone is sending an email to this particular email address only i am composing the email from the same email address just for the testing purpose okay facing an issue in the workflow of pabli connect okay so assume that a user is sending an email to this particular email address i am pausing this video for now and sending the same here only so assume that a new query has been arrived from a customer named as dummy customer let's check this particular response has been captured in public connect and you can see a new response has been arrived let's see the details okay let me check the body text and here you can see we have composed this particular email only and we have actually received the same that means our integration is working absolutely fine now moving to the next Next step, I want to add the details of the very same user to my lead squared CRM. But before that, I will have to specify a condition because here I am going to receive all the emails that are coming to my Gmail account. I do not have to send the detail of each and every email. I want to forward, I want to send the details of only those email in which people are subjecting their issue, people are addressing their issue, okay. Let me tell you that this particular user has mentioned an issue word. Let me go back to my uh, software, basically my Gmail application and let's see what people are actually mentioning in the subject line. She is mentioning facing an issue in the workflow, refund request, facing issue in my workflow, face feedback for public team, query regarding CRM integration. So all the users who are making the queries having some set of words similar in their subject line and using those words only I am going to set a condition here how simply click on filter okay and with the help of filter only we are going to uh, apply this condition and in the subject layer you will have to search for the subject line okay in this particular response click for search for subject line okay so here if the subject line contains okay change it to contains contains issue word then proceed or if the subject line contains again i am going to search for the subject and people can actually uh, maybe they can mention workflow word in the subject line while sharing their query with me okay or if my subject line consists of maybe the error word okay again change it to contains or if my subject line again search for subject okay if my subject line contains feedback word if any of these condition is getting satisfied in that case this workflow should work and the details of the same user should be added to the lead squared crm otherwise stop this workflow and this is how this particular automation is going to work now the, you can see the condition is true because the email which we have received has satisfied the condition which condition let me check the subject line of this particular email facing an issue in the workflow well 
issue and workflow this particular subject line contains both the values which we have actually set in our uh, filter all right now moving further click on plus icon and finally choose your crm in which you would like to add these details i want to add the details to lead squared crm which is a very popular crm as you know and here i am going to choose create or update a lead in action event click on connect click on add new connection it is asking for three details access key secret api host you will have to go to your lead squared crm and here in the settings you will find an option of api and webhooks let me show you you can see api and webhooks again click here and you can find all the details the necessary details here what it is asking let's check it is asking for let me take it here it is asking for access key where it is okay access key here it is copy it and paste it here second one is the secret key okay well show secret key and copy it click on okay and paste it here the last one is the api host go back and you can find your api host here and this is how you will find all the details here in the api webhook section click on save and you will see your lead squared crm account will be connected with pabli connect it is taking time okay now you can see it is connected now we are going to fill these details one by one so basically we are going to fill the above data the details of the above data which we have received from gmail here in lead squared crm but we do not have to copy the details manually simply click on this field and you will find the above data here and you can actually map it directly from here the first name of the person is here the last name i want to keep it blank the email address of the person is again here and whatever values i am going to map here with this technique is going to change automatically with every new data entry all right now i don't want these details so that is why i am leaving it for now okay okay well there are a lot of uh, uh, leads basically the details it is asking i don't want them okay now i am going to click on save and send this request and you will see the contact will be added automatically to my lead squared crm let me check the lead section first which are the leads already exist here you can see no records no 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 there are two data dummy test and test 1 2 3 okay go back to pabli connect click on save and send test request and you can see it is showing success go to the crm refresh it and you can see the person who has made the query has been added automatically to my lead squared crm from the gmail account automatically and this is how whenever person is making a query to this particular email address and if the subject line of that person consist of the words like issue workflow pabli connect error email address of those queries will be added to the lead squared crm automatically and generally people ask me that even after creating this automation in pabli connect do they really need to do this particular setting again and again well no you do not have to do anything once you have created the automation in pabli connect simply close pabli connect and pabli connect will do its job in backend here in my description box i will attach the link of my workflow so that you can directly clone this particular the same automation in your account you just have to connect your applications and you will be able to create this automation in your account very easily not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video